Hey guys, I, uh, I've been saying for quite a while now that I'm going to set up some kind of Git repo or uh, .file repos um, repository just to, for, you know, so many people have asked me about it and uh, just uh, I haven't done it, um, but I have been working on this, uh, this blog, this website for, uh, for my channel. I just wanted to have a reference, um, something that uh, is not on YouTube that, um, you know, basically all my videos I'm kind of, uh, I'm just keeping here uh, that I can refer back to and um, <clears throat> any kind of code or commands or anything like that that I sort of pick up along the way, things I learned for myself uh, that I might want to come back to in six months time, um, it'll be here, you know, and so uh, it was an excuse for me to... Um, one of the primary reasons why I did this is actually because uh, I have been experimenting with um, with static site building. <clears throat> a few people, people like Roman, um, what's his name? Roman Zol Zolotarev, I think it is, um, OpenBSD ad um, champion. Um, he's he's a big advocate of static websites, and um, you know, quite a few people have suggested to me to get off WordPress. I've been developing on WordPress for about eight years now, but it's such a freaking headache, man. Like, you know, it's it's such a bloated, security-hole-ridden CMS. There's so many problems, especially when you start using other people's plugins. Um, I've just spent the last two weeks having to basically clean out an old site of mine and, and lots of little problems here and there I've been trying to fix up. And um, anyway, I just, I, I've, I've been trying to get as much of my own content, my non-BSD-related content to static you know, get away from this, uh, these database-driven sites. <clears throat> and Jekyll, I've just been blown away at how fun Jekyll is. Um, I created this website here. It's, it's pretty simple, um, but it, uh, you know, it's amazing how, um, how, how fast it is, um, how lightweight, how fast um, this thing was to put together um, compared to an, a, a WordPress site. Um, so anyway, I'm going to basically, uh, I'll post my videos here. I'll post other stuff. Sometimes I don't feel like making a video. I don't have time. So I might just, uh, you know, if I find something that is useful, BSD related, um, I'll put it here. So feel free to subscribe to the RSS feed. Um, regards, regarding Jekyll, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, anything about Jekyll, <clears throat> um, and you have a blog, I really recommend you get into it. It's so fun. Um, it's basically, it's, it's purely static, um, every, which means there's no database, there's no PHP involved, it's just, um, it's just HTML and liquid, liquid code, so, um, you know, if I go into my post directory here, this is all of those posts, they're just time stamped, <clears throat> and I'll just I'll open one up, written in markdown, um, so I, I mentioned in my earlier video about blogging, I said that um, even though I, I use WordPress for my sites, so I, I do about 90% of my work in the terminal. Like I vim, uh, markdown, type up all my blog posts. I SSH it to my WordPress server. I, um, I convert it to HTML and then I WP CLI create a new post. So like 90% of what I do is actually in the terminal. I very rarely have to go into the WordPress dashboard unless there's something in there that, uh, unless it's just easier to do something. But, um, <clears throat> so this is, uh, Jekyll is just, yeah, you just write in, in Markdown, um, you, you put some front matter in where you declare the, uh, the title, the layout, as you can see here, featured image. <clears throat> I created another one for the video embeds. And then, um, and then you set the layout, you, you, Create layouts. So, like, if I come into my my post layout here, you can see that. Um, so, in uh, see how you got the liquid tag here for um, page dot title. This calls the title of the page, right? In um, in WordPress, if you're familiar with WordPress, it would be something like um, uh, what would it be the title. <clears throat> And so, if someone landed on that page um, on Word on a WordPress site, it would it would make that call using this this function um, to the database to call that information if the page isn't cached. Um, and so, your 
obviously the, the the bigger your WordPress site is and the more traffic you're getting and all the rest of it, the more calls to your database, it, it really starts to slow down. And so uh, the difference between this and Jekyll, even though it kind of is written similarly, like it's placed similarly, um, this is all pre-compiled. So Jekyll is pre-built. So I'd, I'd type all this up, I'd create a new post, and then I'll just build it using uh, this command here, except instead of serve, I'd put build, and then it just builds the whole site for me, and then I just deploy it to my server, and that's it. And so I've um, <clears throat> I've really, I, I just, I've just been blown away at how fun Jekyll is. Um, still trying to figure out how to do a few things with it, but um, that's kind of been the project for me at the moment. Um, someone got me onto to this, uh, I use, uh, for my other sites, I use a bare metal server on DreamHost. <clears throat> it's about 2000 bucks a year. Um, and uh, I've had a couple of, uh, my, site, my site's gone down a couple of times on their servers, on their server. Um, but I've actually, I've started using these guys, Volta, or Volta, however you pronounce it. And it's really cool. You can, you can choose your operating system here. They have OpenBSD and FreeBSD as default options that you can choose. And you can you can just select that and deploy an OpenBSD server. And so, <clears throat> um, iBSD is actually running on uh, on an OpenBSD server um, with with these guys. And it's uh, it's dirt cheap. I'm not. This is not like a paid advertisement. I'm just uh, just telling you what I use. Um, so I'm I'm actually seriously considering moving my stuff over to, to uh, this company away from uh, from DreamHost. And, uh, and getting as many of my sites uh, static built <clears throat> as possible. Um, if you've um, if you've used something else other than Jekyll and you can suggest uh, you can recommend it, I'd, I'd be be keen to try it out because I'm still uh, still learning the static building stuff <clears throat> um, and always looking for uh, for better and faster alternatives. But uh, but I really enjoy this. So that's it there. Um, yeah, if you just want to subscribe to the RSS feed there, it's um, I'll, I'll, I'll finish these sections as soon as I can. Um, these are the parts people have been asking for, but, uh, start sharing some of my, um, window manager dot files and, uh, and other configs for, uh, for FreeBSD and OpenBSD. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks guys.